Stay tuned to see all the fun my mom and I had exploring Egypt. So it's like a pet, but then sometimes you will eat them. Yeah, we eat, yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, sometimes. We are on our way to the pyramids. My mother almost made us late. I'm carrying her. She just sitting back and relaxing. I'm supposed to go on vacation. I'm a senior. Giza pyramids. Oh my god. Giza pyramids. Oh, pyramids. Pyramids like in the Sphinx. Mm -hmm. Sculpture. One, one single massive huge rock was got caught. Stay tuned to see my mom and I not only visit the pyramids, but actually go inside the pyramids and climb tons of stairs to reach the king's chamber. Our tour guide, Yasir, was amazing during this whole trip. We were together for nine hours, him and the driver, Sharif. But he is right now explaining to us the history of the Giza pyramids. Yasir was great because he was so energetic during the whole day and he served not only as a tour guide, but a photographer and a videographer. He would film when I couldn't, like when me and my mom were going inside the pyramids, like walking up, we want to get footage of that. But he got all of that and so much more. This is why I recommend that people book private tours if they can afford to, if it's in your budget to book a private tour, because you can get such a personalized experience and i mentioned this in my egypt checklist so if you are planning to come to egypt you have to get my egypt checklist to get tips on visas tour guides excursions and so much the batteries and the, the tombs and the burials where people stay and live inside the cemeteries and the yasir was explaining to us the city of the dead this is actually a world heritage site and it's about four miles long separated between north and south cemeteries and it has excavations that went back to the 7th and 10th century so we were definitely not expecting to learn about this we also did a pit stop at the nile river so my mom and i went on a felucca ride on our first night in Egypt. If you have not seen our first 24 hours in Egypt, you have to check out that video. But this is our first time seeing the Nile River during the day. And then we were back inside to go to the Giza pyramids. While we were riding to the Giza pyramids, Yasir was te teaching us, sorry, about basic Arabic language and some sayings that we could learn while we were in Egypt. Habibi means my love. So double meaning, two meanings. Oh, we're now at Giza Pyramids. If you are going to the Giza Pyramids, make sure you have Egyptian pounds on you because sometimes the credit card machines can go down and you need to pay to use the bathroom. Like I think it's about five or 10 Egyptian pounds and you will go through the metal detector, which is like a staple in every historical in museum site. Now we are here with the most famous pyramid ever. <laughs> Hoof Hoof's Pyramid. Let's dance and sing, dance and sing. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Dance and sing, dance and sing. Sing and dance, sing and dance. What are you doing? Don't ya. Don't ya. If Yasir didn't do anything else, he was definitely gonna hype my mom and I up during this tour. And he took the bomb pictures of my mom and I before we went inside the pyramids. We just enjoyed everything about today. Excited, oh wait, one thing, we got scammed. I'll tell you about That's that why? later. Every one of the three pyramids of Giza, at least about two million, about three hundred thousand like rocks. Okay. That one has at least about two million, three hundred like thousand rocks used to build it, finish it. How many? Two million plus three hundred thousand. Oh my God. Rocks were used to build and to finish it. It looks. So, it's time now to go and move. Yes, let's move. To go inside it. The Khufu Pyramid took about 27 years to build according to certain documents. Khufu was a pharaoh and it was believed during this time that pharaohs would become gods in the afterlife. And so the pyramids were built to store jewels, food, and other things that it was expected would be needed for a god. Now on to the pyramids, finally. What? Khufu. Khufu's pyramid. Or. Or. Siops's pyramid. 
Chops and Greek, but who for the Egyptian? So two names the same same person. Like, who for the Egyptian? Body Greek is Chops. Look at the size of these rocks that were used to build the pyramid. They are huge. But I want you to notice the guy next to my mom and y'all see her on the screen. This is what I'm talking about in Egypt. You will be hounded everywhere you go to buy something. Like the guy did, y'all see her, I mean, did get him to go away. But it's just like, it's this nonstop and it's very annoying. My mom was really enjoying love <laughs> learning about the texture of these rocks. But anyway, it is time for us to get in line and go inside to explore. Y'all, it was so hot inside the pyramid. I mean, of course, I mean, it's not like it's AC inside the pyramid, but it was just tight, hot, and very humid and sticky. I was not expecting to be sweating the way that I did and to go up all these stairs that you're about to Look see. Look at this. Over. We are on, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> I gotta take a break. I feel like I just got out of the pool. My edges are white. It's hot. <sighs> Survivor. I had to be dramatic for a moment. I get that from my mama. Shouts out to you, mom. But look at her. She is killing it on these stairs. I am so blessed that I'm able to do things like this with my mom. She is 62 at the time we're doing this. And today that this video drops, she is turning 63 years young. So make sure you wish my mama a happy birthday in those comments. And let's get back to us. I'm about to die in here. <laughs> We made it up to the king's chambers after all those steps, but then I got irritated. Y'all, I had to almost really somebody trying to rush my mama down some stairs. I had, girl, you can wait. You went from being scared to my knock my mama down. After almost bopping somebody for trying to rush my mama down some stairs after they were scared at first, um, we made it out the pyramid. But I wanted to give you guys some context of how many stairs we climbed. We started at the Queen's Chamber layer and then we walked up to the King's the Chamber. The part we went into now, that, that little hole right there, tour. that's where they, that's where the thieves made the hole to get in there to steal the You're stuff. You sure to get, get in and then to steal the various collections and contacts. Collections and them um, tissues and the monuments like the King is mommy food, beverages, even the condoms, even too, and the food for the after. Because all of the kings believed into the afterlife, or believed into the rebirth, or believed into the resurrection that happened one day, the resurrection. Camp out of life, and then even food was preserved inside the tomb. This would be seen when you go into downtown museum, and then you see the collections, uh, the artifacts, of the most famous king ever, King Tom. Wow. Yeah. The, the king Tom so does, does King Tom have a pyramid? Where is his pyramid? Like, no, it was a Luxor. A that. Luxor, that's what we're going to see. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Then that side, three small pyramids for the queens. Oh, 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 hell yeah. <laughs> We can't pass. We can't pass the, the camel. All we to do is compare and see them. I know you're talking about riding until you got in the car you sit. My mama was not having it with getting on those camels, y'all. She took all her pictures by the camels, but that was about it. She was amazed at how they were sitting, and she didn't mind me around them, but getting on them, that was a no for her. But me, me on the other hand, 
Y'all know I had to get on them camels and I had so much fun. It was a smooth ride. So look at me do my thing. Beautiful this is. Look at this. So beautiful. The pyramids, the camel. Chopsa thinks she's an expert now. She thinks she is. This is amazing, but I'm not getting on the camel. It's okay. This is oh, the yeah. best day because we have an amazing tour guide. I love history. I'm learning history. We climb through the pyramids. That's why I'm so sweaty. And my eggs, but the camel was the best part of the day. Oh. The and looking at the pyramids was the best part. We snapped some more pics before we headed to our next stop, which was this souvenir papyrus shop. And I was beyond annoyed once I left here and found out that this stuff was like literally a fraction of the cost. Now they do give you a presentation on the history of papyrus and the lady right here she's actually showing how to make papyrus paper and how egyptians used this in ancient times to start writing and you can get the papyrus wet and it won't rinse off certain ink will even glow in the dark on this papyrus paper and it was all good but some of this stuff was like a hundred two hundred dollars and the souvenir shop at our hotel, you can get the same thing for literally $10. Now, one exception is that you can get this stuff personalized here, but you don't need to pay an extra $90 or $100 to get it personalized. Unfortunately, I did buy some things in here, but I didn't buy the $200 stuff because I did get some gifts personalized for my family. My mom got some stuff and listen to her. Uh, <laughs> look at me call her out. She is so spoiled. I, she is so spoiled. I got her a painting, then she got mad because I didn't get her a bookmark. Mind you, I flew her out to Egypt. Don't care, don't care. <laughs> These are the years of teenager struggles. I deserve this. Yes, you do deserve it, mom. And I don't know how you raised two teenagers at the same time with a child, and we are all still here to tell about it. But anyway, back to the tour. We made our next stop at a restaurant. The food was delicious, y'all. And we had great service. Speaking of good food, we had great food the whole time in Egypt. Everything was so good in Egypt. And here's a few pictures of what we ate. And then we were on to our next stop. Please, and explain to you, we are now to see the most famous pyramid ever in Egypt. The oldest, the first brain wave. <laughs> We're now seeing the most famous pyramid building ever in Egypt that belongs to the most famous king ever, the King Zoser. Saqqara. Saqqara. That one is the oldest pyramid in the history of the mankind in Egypt. The staffed pyramid of the King Zoser Djoser. When, when did it first start? First one, 3100 BC. All the Egyptian history fears like God ended by 332 when the Greeks came to Egypt, led by Alexander the Great, then the city of Alexander. So he he ended the Egyptian dynasties. Yes, sir. That's why we can we can explain this is the last king. And where does this king rank in the dynasties? Number one, third dynasty. This is the third first one. Dynasty. This is. Third dynasty, king number one. Third dynasty, king number one. Founder of the dynasty. Okay. So first and first and second, no pyramids in Egypt. All the tombs and burials underneath mm -hmm. the side shaft. And then with that, with that dynasty, with the third dynasty foundation, the pyramids appeared inside the Egyptian history. And then the oldest one was building the third dynasty of the king. Zos or Joshua, but all thanks to all thanks to the king Joshua and the architect Imhotep. <laughs> and then and then Imhotep got deified. 
God deified, God worshipped him. So by the Greeks, for as the photo of well in the first place, right there. <laughs> Check us out walking through these ancient monuments in Egypt. We had such a good time during our entire trip, and I felt like at this point we were walking through something that was like on a movie. I don't know what type of movie, like a uh, Da Vinci Code or something. I don't know. With some movie that has this type of look, I it's it's escaping me right now. But let's get back to our tour. Well, the irrigation land is, but it's uh, like a shameful. Seeing people throw garbage in. That's how you cross. It's so right trashy. There? And all the kids are walking on. Oh, I'm like, come on. Come like crossing roads. Oh, on top of the building. Uh, look, look at the man on top of that. Okay. Oh, I see. So Maybe the beaches. So he's raising the pigeons right there? Sure, raising beaches over there. They look. He trains. He trains them how to fly. Not a go on back, come go on back, forth, forth and back. So it's like a pet, but then sometimes you will eat them. Yeah, we eat, yeah, for oh, sure. I know sometimes we sometimes we, if you have a good, a dear friend to me, a dear friend, a youth, what if I you to have a home, indoors, in my home, house? Pigeons. Really? It's tough to rise in a wheat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah, now in the to inside the area of Memphis. The real oh, Memphis. Oh, Mitrahida. Oh, <laughs> Memphis, not Memphis, Tennessee. No. <laughs> but Egyptian Memphis City, the oldest one ever founded in Egyptian history. The city of Menefer, but easier. The Greeks, they were simplified to Memphis. The oldest uh, city and capital of Egypt that dates back to 3100 BC. So it's now, it's now 51 centuries in total, the age of the city of Memphis. Heading inside Memphis. Rams the second, the most famous thing given. Rams is the great. Oh my the greatest God. man ever who's ruled Egypt for more than 66 years in office and power, Ramses II, the most famous king ever. Was God married to more than 14 wives, but his famous one, the famous one of his wives, was Nefertari. Nefertari. <laughs> then, then, then he had more than 90 kids. More than 90 kids. He had kids. more than 90 kids. He was busy. 90 kids. It was a river royal person. Like, it was a womanizer. <laughs> a womanizer. After learning about <laughs> Ramses' 90 kids, we learned how his coffin was found. It was found in a river and it weighed tons and tons and it was ultimately moved to Memphis. Um, but just to see the size of this coffin i had to go upstairs just so you can see and then my mom and i headed outside to see his wife queen nefertari's her sphinx i hope i said that right We saw monuments in Memphis that still had its original coloring from thousands of years ago. We just were blown away by we were blown away by this. And this was towards, I mean, pretty much the end of our tour before making the last stop to some souvenir shop to get us to buy more things. I just think that's how things are done in Egypt from tour guides to buy stuff, whether it's big or small groups. But anyway, let me know what you thought of my mom's and I day at the pyramids, Memphis. You know, everything that you saw today. And be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.